dog stole my spot. What's up? <laughs> you lose, lose Sam. Uh, we replaced Sam with Finley. Yep, Finley is the new, um, newest member. Say hello. Oh, hello. Oh, all right. Okay, so. So, uh, we just finished watching Finley, episode seven, and okay, Kate Sharma <laughs> is injured. Uh, they also had sex with very ill. I love me some hand touches and it feels like going down, down, baby. Oh my God. All right. So if you watched it, you I want to know, know if she's dead or not. Let's yeah. keep going. <laughs> if you I don't the, think she's dead. You, you uh, saw what like, happened. I don't okay. think that would be a twist. Okay. There we go. It would be a good twist, but it would be a twist. Well, that would be not very romantic. I know, but it would be a twist. All right. Are we ready? <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's go. go. Let's go. Ready, Sam? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Sam's now delirious. Oh, oh no. The only rock that was, uh... That's why we need cell phones. The radio. <laughs> yeah. Radio, radio, radio. Don't move her. Oh, oh no. You know, his ears kind of go out. And you know what I was thinking? He'll be able to grab onto them when he goes on down the road. You're thinking that? Oh my god, Mom elevate the head. Me. Don't let the head just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Oh my romantic. god. She's not a dummy. No, you're not supposed to do that, especially if somebody has like a neck or a head injury. <laughs> I know, yeah, you're supposed to like... Oh, and his hair is down too, like when he was younger with his father. Yeah. What happened? My dad had someone carrying Sharma inside. Is she alright? I didn't know. Okay. You alright? No, probably not. <laughs> I, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Remember, don't go riding on your horse in the rain. Remember, dangerous. do not leave things unsettled when you're talking to people. Always leave them happy because you never know when the fuck they're gonna die. Or something happens. No, to he's going yes, to get again. Yes, I'm talking to you. Oh, look, he's kind of crying. He didn't even cry when his dad died, remember? That's what he said. His eyes were getting dirty. Oh, crap. Yo, this is the last episode! No! How is she? I didn't know. I'm... You have one thing to see, huh? Because it's been a week. Have I not made it clear that I've been busy? Oof. I would be lying if I said I was not worried about you, Anthony. I do not have time for this. <laughs> I do not have time, time for you. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps you might wish to make time. I do not have time for this. <laughs> Fucking TikTok, man. That you feel like shit? <laughs> yeah, for real though. You like being on top here, yes? Well, then imagine how good it will feel to be in a new city. Endless opportunity, endless wealth for us mm. to secure together. He's a salesman. I wish mm. we could be in even better team without the restrictions. He was just going to find out he was in God even related to the Fenton. Oh my God, of course I've heard about this. Well, <laughs> he's, not, he's not related to her. No, just, he's not even the Fenton hand. Oh, gotcha. They're gotcha. totally going like to kiss. Like, he killed the other one. Too. They're going to kiss. Oh. It's there. <laughs> oh, she even like parched her lips too. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. The, yeah. the, the slow burn for them is not the same. Mm. To be fair though, she, it's probably been a while since she had sex. Her husband was awful. Last time she had sex was when Penelope was conceived. <laughs> yeah, 18 years ago. Holy fuck. Wow, she needs a fan. She was rich to come to see me. E? Brought you here. He rescued you in the park. Gallantly, in fact. He brought you back here several days ago. <laughs> Just like that. He's afraid of his emotions. As most men are. Yeah. Let's see. I haven't cried. You're right. I'm proud of you. No, I want to cry. That's rest. That's how I get my feelings out. <laughs> well, do you want me to insult you? Would that help? No, I'd probably agree with you, oh. but not cry. Should I compliment you with that? That'd probably make me nervous. 
Shit. Okay. Colin, you're doing some bad investments. Uh, I know you're not Colin. But I'm just saying. You have to go see her. Doing man. Time in throwing her not today. She's awake. Mrs. Wilson heard from one of the maids. Oh, the space. <laughs> go. Go. Look at the space. Oh. No. Oh. Are you gonna cry instead? Will you help Lucia cry too? He didn't even cry when his dad died. I do not think that I can see her. Do it. You gotta be brave, my dude. <sighs> Everything I've known was the most difficult time of my life. And the pain that I felt. But there is one thing that has given me at least some modicum of solace. It's knowing that I would still choose the life I led with him each and every time. My and time. I would undoubtedly feel the same pain I felt all over again if I had to. Because real, true love is worth it. It's like, um, in the arms of an angel. <laughs> No, 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 it's, it's a Nicholas, the angel. City of Angels, that movie. Do not lose her. There's this thing that Nicholas Cage's character says. You cannot lose her. And that song is in that movie. You're denying. Mm. So annoying. You are Women. Annoying. Yes, you are. Yeah, call her out. Thank you. Let's go. Ridiculous. Go. I am disappointed in you. Okay. How dare you have human like feelings such as fright? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> You're scary and scared. What the hell? What the fuck? Why are you crying? I'm gonna cry! Fucking be together already! Whoa, whoa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well. All I cared about was you getting better. But now that you are, I do have questions. Have you had sex with him? I don't think that's the question. <laughs> oh my god, Lucia. <laughs> that would it, would be a, it would have to be a y yes, they did. Was there always something for you in the background? Were you lying to me all along? I was lying to myself. I truly do not want to go to this dreadful ball tonight. Even if I know Penn will be there, she finds me quite foolish too at present. Would you like a companion? What? Of course I would not, because... I'm apparently free. I love you too. Aww. And pops the party of two. Mm, they're playing Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna murder everybody at the ball. <laughs> you see? You see? No. You have to win her heart. She's pretty tall, I can't get over it. Your Latin shooter does not think you're stupid. He thinks I am frightening. I asked too much of him and of you. He said, uh, never really knew his own dad either. No, he's nah. really young. He was like a yeah. baby. Yeah. He and Ten Hyacinth were like a year or two apart, I so he so. was like two. Yeah. But was he more like he? He was, uh... You need this. Talk about it. He was on both of us, really. He had my seriousness, perhaps. He shared your love of a prank. Did he? Aww. Mm. He wants to put glue in Benedict's shoes. <laughs> My eyes are getting teary eyed again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look. I don't know much about him at all. That is because I have shown far too late for far too many things. It's the family stuff that gets me, y'all. Your father looks the best man I've ever known. Kate, I hope your return to India is not because of some eagerness to flee what is difficult. I know the feeling too well, and I can tell you it is never the wise choice. Oh, mm -hmm. I hate seeing you like this. It is my fault, Mama. Oh, it grieves me to think you do not believe you deserve all of the love in the world. Mm. 
I'm crying yet, Lucia? No. Damn it. <laughs> they are. I'm a little bit more. Look. Oh, we're almost there. Good job, buddy. <laughs> he does not love me the most. Oh, but he does. That's a lie. Why would you even say that, though? I could not allow it. Go to the ball and confess your love Ugh, to him. She's dumb. I get it, though. I get it. I guess, but, like, you know how you feel. Yeah, like, boy. emotions. Like, don't make things complicated. Well, that's the thing is because you don't use is. the word love, you know? Yeah, wow, that was fancy as shit. You live and you learn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You were correct about Theo. It was a mistake ever getting involved with him. I took your advice and I extricated myself. I did not take it well, but I think it was a necessary choice. And mm. thank you for protecting me. You are a true friend. <laughs> Field trip. <laughs> That's hard to say. So your lady whistle down, so it's over. <laughs> she is gone for good. <clears throat> I suppose now we can finally speak for the things. <laughs> Perhaps let's seek a little advice. I hear he recently spent a good deal of time with Miss Goring in a closet. For what I cannot imagine. Where well, did you hear that? Miss Goring is over there, alongside the lemonade table. Secret oh. bits and dishes have been in her bosom. Now we know who for. Look. That look on her face. a keen observation. Oh, oh no. no. No, no, no. Oh, crap. Oh, thank you. Nothing looking after us. I will always look after you. Perfect. Oh. You're special to me. Can you, like, get her out of the friend zone, though? Like, to me. Love each other. Please. Oh, no. I always going to say something to. Uh... What the fuck? No, don't keep Tell her you love her, dummy. That's the point. Perhaps we should not. Yeah. There oh. we go. Heck yeah. What a little squirrel. Perhaps you were the first person I found. Hmm. That was so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 so random. I was wondering when that one was gonna play. Oh yeah, because of the list. Oh, I, okay. I guess it makes sense. But... Okay. Came oh. like a rag. Give up. <laughs> 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 Bitch. Is that why the sister's wedding was abandoned? Technically, yeah. Sure. Okay. No, that wedding did not happen because I simply changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, must have sunk her miss. Like, I know you can't kiss in the middle of a public ballroom, but I want you to. Yeah, can you please, or at least propose or something? Like, in the middle? I mean, yo, those are very expressive eyes. Okay, alright. Please, you're having an eyegasm. Let's just. The eyebrows! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Fucking mosh pit! Come on! Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Duh. I have a surprise for you all! Okay, as everyone's like running outside, just kiss really quick. It's fine. Marry him, dummy. Look at this. I don't know you. She's like, go fuck. She's like, you have my permission. <laughs> right now. <laughs> We're all going outside. We'll close the doors. You can have the ballroom. Louise, I'm sorry. I'm so mm. sorry. You're right. All of it. I was trying to protect you. Is that what you were doing? By you writing know. about me in your latest sheet. Mm. By telling the entire world about things I trusted you. It was the only way I could convince the queen it wasn't you. It was the only way I could save you. The only person you were interested in saving was yourself. I look at you now. And all I feel. At least I did something. Oh. All you ever do is talk about doing something. You have all these great ambitions, these great plans, but I am the one who actually did something great, and you cannot stand it, can you? Wow, I've never seen what him yell. What do you think that makes you? I wish you never 
to see. We'll speak to you again. My girls are fighting! Damn. You are cruel. I am a mother. <laughs> mm. I'm not even any worse off than when you arrived. With nothing. Go Portia? I mean, yeah. Go Portia. See, that's exactly it. It's like, no, I don't particularly like her a lot. And she doesn't treat her, especially Penelope, as well as I'd like. But it's always like, she does shit for her kids. Yeah. <laughs> Penelope Feathers. The way oh. you were dancing with her looked rather interesting. Huh? You're courting the girl, Bridget. Ah, uh, are you mad? I would never uh, dream of no. courting Penelope Not in your wildest fantasies, by. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking shit! <sighs> I love you. No, it's about I damn time. Yes, here we time. go. Oh, I've loved you in every dance, on every walk, every time we've been together, and every time we've been apart. You do not have every to accept it. You do not have you. to embrace it, or even allow it. Knowing you, you probably will not, but you must know it in your heart. You must feel it inside you. Oh. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Enemy still love her slow burn, I guess. I want the life that suits us both. Okay. I know I am imperfect, but I will humble myself before you because I cannot imagine my life without you, and that is why I wish to marry you. Yes. They make me fuzzy. <laughs> but also a hot. <laughs> Grab him by his ears. And force his head down. It has been said. Ooh. Oh. Silence can wield more power than words. Oh. I know. There will always be times when silence is necessary. And of course, times when it is not. Gentle reader, you thought I was silenced, but you thought wrong. And if there is one thing you should know by now, it is that this author cannot keep quiet for long. Yours truly, Lady Whistledown. There's a power in that. Huh. That she seeks. Oh. oh. The bee! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, just like, ah! Oh. And admit defeat. Never. They're so perfect for each other. Why am I single? <laughs> Give you a man, Lucia. Like, uh. Colin, what the fuck? Colin, you keep fucking up, boo. Hmm. Aww. You miss your husband? Probably, but Daphne's still. It's the oh, hair! It's the, the hair head. stroke. It's the hair stroke. I love how they're doing this in front of her. Also, perfect. Yeah, they're lighting. like, we want to play a game, guys. <laughs> they're so cute. They said, well, Again, it doesn't us. matter. Chemistry is chemistry. We did it, you we guys. Did it. I'm oh, exhausted. Oh, oh, very everything hurts. <laughs> it's 11:36. Oh gosh, we did it, though, you guys. What are our thoughts? I immediately want more. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I need to hurry up and release the next. So the thing is, all that the tea I... was spilt, though. In that episode. I don't know whose story is next. If it's Benedict's, then they need to set up more, I guess. But if it's Colin's, they set up stuff. But, like, I mean... I I'm, mean, they don't have to set up that much of Benedict's. He's looking for a stranger for half the fucking book. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> that sounds like a him problem. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh. Um, Thoughts on... Eloise and Penelope. I'm My sad. Heart is shattered. I'm yeah. sad. He just keeps fucking up. I like. I don't know if he actually likes her. Eloise like a... and Penelope. We'll get to Colin in a second. Oh, sorry. I hate Colin. <laughs> I'm sad. Eloise and Penelope. I'm sad. I am very sad. But yeah. hey, the way that she was like, I'm not going to be silenced much longer. She, Ooh. she gets a kick out of that, I swear. It's it makes like me wonder, though, if power. Eloise is going to spill that tea. I don't think I don't she think will. I don't think she will. I don't think she will either. No, I think it's, like, it's one of those things that's like, they might be mad at each other, but they still <gasps> care about their, each other's well-being. So, so, like, I would say, not, not that Edwina didn't have a just reason to feel upset, 
obviously she did but the lo- amount of time that she was upset i was like okay get over it right but the amount ma- the amount of anger that eloise felt for against penelope i felt is very just yeah I mean, it was like a five minute thing. Penelope then. ruined her. Yeah. yeah. Essentially. Twice. And she was talking mm-hmm. all that shit too. Well, not just about. She talked about everyone. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like. <sighs> it's tough. The girls are fighting! So sad. But we got rid of Cousin Jack. So. We did get Uncle rid of Jack. Cousin Jack. <laughs> which, good on Portia. Yeah. That de- moment definitely showed that. She happy. does, in her weird way, love her children. Well, because I was afraid she wasn't going to wake up from this dream. And right, I they thought were she gonna was just actually just going to leave her kids behind. And I was going to be like, mm-hmm. there's not a single part of me that thought that. Because mm-hmm. she likes she likes the idea of the ton and being a part of it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, being a part of that elite status, but still on the fringes of people ignoring them. She doesn't like that part. That's just a reality. But, okay. um, and she likes having her own household True, and being yeah. in charge of it. So there was... Like, the reason why she wanted uh, Prudence to marry him in the first place was so that way they didn't have to leave. That she can still be in charge, even though Prudence would be the head of the wife, you know what I mean, whatever it's called. So, I, there was not one single part of me that did that. And like I said, even last season, she did questionable (laughs) things, but it was for her kids. Because look at who she was married to last year. That has her husband was worthless, so she had to do stuff for her kids. Yeah. So... I, yeah. I understand that, but she's still not a very good mother. No, I, I she's not a good person, per se, you know, but... I mean, she constantly puts some Penelope I in. I think and... she's doing the best that she's capable of. Yeah. yeah. yeah sure. Which is a hard thing for some people to admit about parents. Yeah, Like, no, true. she's not great, but yeah. it may be all she's capable of giving. Yeah. Maybe. We don't know her backstory in terms of how she was raised. Do we? I don't think so. No, I don't think mm. so. I don't remember. But, uh, okay. That was wild. We did it. Oh, Colin and Penelope. Wait. Listen. Oh. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah. And I still hate it. Yeah. In the book, it's done a little bit differently. It's, it's just like, his brothers that hear it in the book. And it's right outside of, like, her house, basically. Yeah. But still awful. It's still awful. Except she had a good comeback in the book. Yeah. She was like, I never wanted to court you either, Colin Bridgerton. Yeah. And like, walks out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, like, for, for her, like, with with everything with Eloise and then hearing that, it's like... Yeah, it's that's like, just... It's like two... Stepping on two, two piles of dog shit. Yeah. Back oh. to back. Back to back. Two piles of dog shit. Very true. Great. Overall, that's a good true. season. Yeah. Super well, good. I think it got... Um, better as we went on yeah and of course a little slow. the last yeah. couple episodes um we got the tea it, it was so. an enemies to lovers slow burn that is what that was all right, all right our next binge is all eight harry potter movies <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, i thought you God. wanted me to watch no. fantastic I don't beasts know. Movie. we do need to watch those before the 15th so we can go see the new one. Oh, oh, God. oh my gosh that sounds way too nerdy for my uh there's only two fantastic beast movies uh, were you okay. talking about Fantastic Beasts or were you talking about I the mean, whole thing? Oh, I made a joke about oh. <laughs> I don't think okay. I can binge Harry That's like 36 hours of movies. Yeah, <laughs> I'd probably die. I have friends that would want to binge watch The Lord of the Rings uncut. Oh, oh my gosh, that's like <laughs> Andrew. He wants to watch those and I'm like, uh... Worth it though. Have you ever seen them? Oh yeah, but like he wants to like watch them back to back to back. Like, yeah. Take them a whole week. Mm. And, like, the girls can even, sleep. Like, the, even the Hobbit? Probably yeah, because the, the three move the three Lord of the Rings movies only take a day, uh, but everything would probably take like fucking three days or something. Yeah, like seventy hours. Final thoughts. Um, I'm um, sad it's over, but I'm really happy we binged it in one day. Same. I don't think I would have wanted to stop watching. It would have been really difficult, and I would have forgotten. I have to watch things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think that's good. Any predictions for the next season? Oh, I think um, what's her face, Kate mm-hmm. and An- Anthony are gonna have a baby. I think they also have Probably. what four kids. I think in the books. Yeah, but like there's gonna be at least so. one kid, if not more. Um, more like these. Well, then again, they're newlyweds, so maybe right. they'll. I mean, be. then they should also have more kids. 
Yeah. She ends up yeah. with four kids in the book. Daphne does? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so she'll have a second, and then uh, Kate can will have a first. Get one baby actor. <laughs> I mean... It's only been a Working year. Working with infant actors is kind of a pain. Yeah, that's why they didn't true. show the other kid when uh, Tom, uh, Lady Crane came didn't get it. Yeah. Like, she had twins. Oh, like, oh, yeah. We can only, only show one baby. Like, <laughs> the other one's having a tantrum, so we're just going to show the one, but say that we had twins. I'm surprised they didn't take that same baby, just kind of just a little bit. Switch it. Colin, Colin, oh. Colin. Ah. I up? think we might see Benedict. Mm-hmm. Mr. Benedict. Next season. I want to call him Eggs, as in Egg Benedict. Oh, okay, okay. Every time I hear the name. You think it's possible? Either that, and I really hope that maybe Francesca shows up just a little bit. Just yeah, a tiny amount. like a I little, know in yeah. the book she's not there a lot. I get that, but still, but, like, you're not, how are you supposed to develop her character when she gets her own potential season right? if she's not here? And like that was. Well, it ended up being my favorite book. It was the one that I was least looking forward to because I had no attachment to her. As a character. Yeah. So, like, I'm not going to be pumped for a season if I don't know the person it's centered around. Like, I personally... I wait, her, Francesca's book is called book When He Was Wicked. <laughs> yeah. I love that book. And, you know, also, speaking of the season as a whole, it was much more about family it and responsibility was very sweet. and duty... Not, very, very true. Yeah, there were so many season, good like family moments and like sibling jabs. Yeah, they were just so cute. Because season one, it just focused. I feel like on happy assignment. It was. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, was just very... like their love story developing, and then this season it was like, hey, family, and like you said, duties and standing up for what you believe yeah. in, or standing up for your family and yeah. protecting. Yeah, I mean, like obviously there was other stuff in the other season, right. but this one felt like more grander and more world building and like expanding the characters and finding who they are, which I appreciate. Obviously, you can do that more because it's a second season. Yeah, but I know that some people they're like because <coughs> they we're watching this Tuesday after it came out. But I've heard like whispers like the Featherington storyline in this season, like people didn't care. I enjoyed it for what it was worth. I thought it was a nice, I think it's always nice to be able to have those other storylines to kind of break things up. Mm-hmm. And then people were, I remember reading, and it's like, oh, I wanted more Kate and Anthony. They got a lot of stuff together. They mm-hmm. did. Why did they say, why did they, uh, say that the season was going to be sexier. It was, like, way less sexy than this one. <laughs> there was a lot less sex in this one. Mm-hmm. Who but, said it was going to be sexier? I just, on YouTube, it was, like, the Anthony actor was like, this is going to be a way sexier season. I'm like, okay. Well, I think they mean, <laughs> well, the, the tantalization of There was a lot of up. teasing. Yeah. yeah. So there's that. So the... But actual, like, sexual situations. Obviously. But that's that's more. that's one of the things about, like, forced romances that I don't like. Again, season one, oh. they were getting to know each other, but the forced romance, now this one, they got to know each other more. Yeah. Also, I am always, we're Regency era type books, sex before marriage, I am here for it. Mm-hmm. Also, that's not how it was done in the book, because they were forced to marry. Right. So I'm here for that change as well. I think it was very nice overall. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it. You probably got rid of the forced marriage because maybe the writers for the TV show is like, isn't this the first same thing? Two? Yeah. Also, did who after watching the second season? I remember we said we really enjoyed Penelope and Eloise in the first season. Mm-hmm. Who, who is y'all's favorite characters? I still enjoyed those two. But like, do you have any mm-hmm. mores or lesses? Or did anyone change your oh, position? I like. Kate. I like Kate. Yeah, um, Kate was good, and I. I still really enjoyed Penelope and Eloise. Oh yeah. yeah. And I loved, um, I like Daphne's appearances and her comments. I thought some yeah, of them were really, really witty. Yeah. And, and also obviously her mom. Her mom is so Violet's happy. I love her mom. I, like, I love Violet. Violet She's has like... so many good moments. <laughs> A part of me likes show Violet more than book Violet. A part of me. Mm-hmm. But, like, there's some really great moments coming up, uh, hopefully, that they put them in, in this, the other seasons mm-hmm. with the other kids that, again, hopefully they'll, like, translate over and if they don't you know what oh whatever whatever, whatever. Yeah. but i really like show violet and i also really like mom book violet like i remember reading one of the books on mother's day and i was like i love violet <laughs> happy mother's day violet do you remember that yeah <laughs> i forgot what book it was though i really like my one of my favorite scenes is when they showed uh, lady danbury not knowing what to do and they were laughing yeah, oh, yeah. i love that, that. Scene. and they're like, just... they're like i don't 
fuck it, no. <laughs> and it's like, like, I don't care. <laughs> it, like, really humanized her because she was the person that, like, knew all the answers in a while. Yeah. yeah. But then she's like, I truly don't want <sighs> to do it. I'm like, oh, man, she's not this, like, unstoppable old oh, lady right. that could just do, change things in a snap of <sighs> fingers sometimes. Oh, yeah, and her plan backfired, too, so it's like, she's not always right. Right. Yeah. But at least she can admit that and ask for help. I did like at the end how uh, Anthony told Benedict, it's like, you are so much more than what you see yourself, basically, and mm-hmm. it's taken me now to admit that to you. And, of course, Benedict is in his woe is me for rightful reasons, obviously. Right. But, so he's not going to believe it. But so, Benedict's great. I really liked him in the first season. And even more, because, like, Eloise and Benedict, their relationship was really good in the first season. Yeah. And then that just progressed even more in this season. Mm-hmm. So it was great. It was a good season. I hope you all enjoyed our reactions. Um, also enjoy the shift in camera. <laughs> Cameras. Also, please excuse our tired faces. We yeah. literally we have since 11. We're going to bed now. Lucia <laughs> just keeps talking. That's why we're still here. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> so do I. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.